Just you know what I mean? Like we we I this is what I tell I tell my son, I tell him about it. You can't be a gangster and a preacher at the same time. Oh, I, you, you can't, you know, I, I tell people all the time, like either, either you want to be a gangster or you want to be a peacemaker. Mm -hmm. You can't be both, bro. You can't play both sides of the fence. Pick one, stay true to it, and that's it. And there's a word right. for that, hypocritical. Right. You know, you know what I'm saying? We call as, hypocrites. You know what I mean? Someone that that think that they can be halfway in and halfway out and think that it's going to forever work for you, that you're going to, you know, go up in, in glory with that. So you're going to come down sooner or later. And, 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 that, and that's what it boils down to. Like, when we make this transition to live this life, right, to be yeah. taxpaying citizens, mm -hmm. to work hard, to provide for your family, to, 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 to be recognized in your community as a positive subject, you have to separate yourself to either I did the life that I want to live now because I want to stand by my community or do I want to continue to show a blind eye to my community? Mm -hmm. right? you, can't, you can't do both, Absolutely. right? And what's right is right, what's wrong is wrong. We'll leave that at that, mm -hmm. right? Um, yes, could we run, about run out of time? We can talk all day, my brother. Mm -hmm. um, I, do, I do like that as far as not serving two masters and once I realized that I couldn't do it no more, because it's one thing, right, to put on the mask and like, yo, we out here. When I say I really put it in, I really put it in. Like, I didn't fool nobody to get to the top. Like, I really did it, but I had to become a different person to do it. So, you know what it's like, and to go in there, like, yeah, I made my mistakes, but this environment is unnatural, right? And you got to do unnatural things to survive there, right? So, you become a person that you know what you're not. I wasn't running around trying to rip the skin off of people's faces in New York. Right. I wasn't running around sticking, you know, uh, plexiglass, you know. I wasn't giving it up like that in New York, bro. So the fact that I'm doing these things now, and they used to be over animalistic things. Like, yo, they not giving us cereal. Rikers Island shit. The motherfucking good cereal come. They take all of it, and that was just yeah. weird shit like that. Yo, we out of here. And I used to be like, damn. Like, once I really thought about the shit that I really jumped out the window for and hurt people for, a, a box of cereal this big with probably nine Wheaties in it. Mm -hmm. yeah. This dude's walking around disfigured because mm -hmm. they was trying to hold on to them frosted yeah, Wheaties or flakes. You know, the yeah. frosted yeah. Wheaties yeah. and flakes. Anything yeah. with yeah. sugar yeah. on it because yeah. sugar is a drug in prison. Yeah, sugar yeah. releases that endorphin in your body. When you go in your cell and you eating that Facts. candy, it makes you feel good. Yeah. And anything that makes you feel good in there, bro, is a drug. And we want it. And we want anything. more of it. Right. More of it, right? <laughs> You're right. Anything That's that right. makes you feel good in prison becomes a drug. And you just you overeat. You over indulge That's with the up. magazines because it makes you feel good. You want to just mm -hmm. keep that pain from beside him, right? So absolutely turn into an animal. So man. real quick, mm. let me hit on this, right? So as we were talking in the beginning, when we started talking, I started writing a couple words down. Mm -hmm. And it's funny because now you just hit on those words that I that I that that, that, that I wrote down without you even knowing at, and like what I'm what I heard is accountability. Mm -hmm. As men and women, as adults, as good decision makers, we have to have accountability and responsibility own up to our shit. Mm -hmm move forward and you also mentioned hope gotta have that hope right gotta have that hope the minute we lose hope is all all, all all bets is gone right and then we talked about what we don't really discuss or address is the mental health disorder that we acquire mm -hmm. right i'm in the mental health field right and i tell people all the time you got two type of mental health disorder those that are born with it and those that acquired it. Mm -hmm. And I believe that men and women who have sustained what we have went through to get to where we at now suffer through some type of mental health. Yes, I was so talking good. about this, right? Like mm -hmm. me to this day, spent 22 years in and out of prison. I can't hear the sound of metal clanking. It, 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 it literally like crawls out of my skin, right? And I, I just wanted to touch on that because this was something I want to start touching more on. Yeah. And but what you're doing into the community, because I know we got like ten minutes yeah, so left. I got two things. Go so my thing, two? just to be yeah, back, my thing is light. I became Cyclops when I came out of prison. Like right now, I'm doing this for you, but th I got a migraine right now, bro. Right. Sorry. For wrestling light, highlight, I wear all black because I, black <laughs> yeah. is powerful. But that's like that's how my life is. But in I bring, even though like I have a dark demeanor, I'm all about the light. Mm -hmm. It's weird, but light, light is something that that's one of the things that I took from prison. That like it, 
It freaks me out. I, I go into a room with all of them lights and it just like gives me anxiety. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. I can't. Mm-hmm. It's just too many things. You so know what I mean? People, yeah, don't, no understand. people don't understand. I just transitional those little, shades little, to kind of bring it down. Triggers yeah. That you have to be conscious and mindful. Go ahead, Eric. So two things I just want to you know touch on before we roll out. Um, I want you. Just uh, what would you, you know, the advice you would give to people coming home from prison? Know what I mean? As well as people out here now that you know may be in that, in that space that we used to be in that, you know, in that space that where we had to grow, grow out of and develop out of, and and also, you know, with with that also touch on what what Rock's doing now. Like, mm-hmm. know what I mean? What yeah. you doing now yeah. tomorrow? You know what you got going. You know what I mean. I'm, I'm probably late for a, a, an event right now. Y'all know the schedule yeah, is crazy. Yeah. Um, so share that with that advice. And, and nah, absolutely. So one of the main things I would tell one of my brothers coming home is to just try to stay out of too many pots. Right. Don't do a whole bunch of everything. Do a whole bunch of one thing. Right. So if you nice with fixing cars, just fix cars, bro. Don't fix cars, scam, sell weed. Da, da, da. Just try to fix cars in every in every day, right? Because this is all I wanted to do. I got paid to do something that I love, which is do music, help kids, and fix my community. Yeah. And I got a salary for that. I've been doing it for free my whole life, right? right? So it's like just find something that you really, really like, bro. And if you manifest it every day and every conversation, every interaction is based on that. That passion is gonna manifest itself. Absolutely. If you're a podcast and all you do is talk to podcast, talk to, and everything is like it, it, it involves this world, it will manifest for you, right? That's right? But if you put your blessings in so many pots, you're not gonna get nothing back. So just stay focused on just one thing and just try to execute. Facts. Execute. <laughs> and then, even if you don't want to stay on it, just execute and then figure something else out. Yeah. Um, and um, the next point, right? Uh, you said. What are you That's doing you, now? Tell them what, what you're doing, how they can reach you. you. How can they connect with today, you man. Roll out give back? Center every. Yeah. <laughs> so my day starts as a, as a peace broker for Exodus, right? I'm coming here and I'm canvassing the neighborhood from 5 o'clock at night to about 1 in the morning. Mm. I'm going to the hot spots in the South Bronx, East Harlem, um, that I know dudes is overdosing, dudes, kids is getting shot, and I make my presence felt. I'm there. I'm putting up flyers with my real name on it. Dudes know who I am in these areas. And that's why I'm going to them. I was blessed by my agency to allow me to have catchment areas where people actually know me. Mm-hmm. Something that was kind of working against me in Rikers Island because they was like, oh, he has unfamiliar, uh, undue familiarity. He knows too many people here. Yeah. How? <laughs> these are all brothers from my community. How wouldn't I know them? Did you, did you extradite these brothers from Arkansas or yeah. something? Yeah. Because last time I checked, he's from Brooklyn, Bronx, and Queens. Where you think I lived all my life, right? So I had... um. So I come, I do the peace broker thing for Exodus. Um, I'm a youth mentor by heart. So I have a basketball team. I'm the new head coach for Saturday Night Lights. Oh, yeah. I'm actually in uniform. I'm, uh, I'm a little late for a clinic. I got to do a basketball clinic in the, uh, in the South Bronx tonight. So you guys are lucky real, that man. He, he, he extended his time with real. us. Because he is running late, Absolutely. but like the positivity in this brother, like it's amazing. Tell them Thank about you, your man. music. How can they get in yeah. touch with you? Plug in your music, your your social media, Absolutely. and all that. How they can get in touch with you? What's going on? So y'all could uh, whoever's tuned in, y'all could find me on Instagram at underscore Rockrilla. Um, on YouTube, you could just search that same handle uh, R O C R I L L A Rockrilla. Um, I have a dope, amazing record called Bigger Than That. With uh, Prada Dot, who's a Bronx native and a big advocate for um, for gun violence and the youth out here. I also have a dope project with Dub Aura called Better Way. Um, it's official, man. I got the shooter in RSA. It's a public school over here. I didn't have a permit. I hope this don't mess my relationship up with them. But they was like, yo, you do so much great work for these kids. You got an hour. So come on, hurry up. You know, it was during the summer. There was no kids in there, but we was able to get the shots we needed. And that, it turned out to be an amazing project. So mm. um, Better Way featuring uh, Dub Auras on YouTube now. Mm. Um, I actually have a dope record with some with some real OGs called The Cypher. And we had this thing where we wanted to get like official dude from every borough and create like a cypher, right? Mm. And you see everybody in their hood. You know, I was in the Bronx. You, you had one of the brothers in Flatbush, another brother that was in a Far Rockaway, but all our videos was done. It was done amazingly, but it was called The Cypher. These are three projects I could check out. 
Um, as far as upcoming projects, I got some dope content with a uh, Miss Silver Rain, who's a fellow Ghost Town baby. And um, uh, big up yeah. to Silver, yeah. Big up Silver Rain. yeah. She from High Bridge, but we stole her and all that. Like, y'all got eight buggy, y'all good. Son. But um, yeah. Um, so yeah. Besides that, like I said, I got um some dope records out right now on YouTube. This one right here. Uh, this is better way. Uh, 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 no better for way copyright out. purposes, so they don't take this down. Huh? Right. Who owns the copyrights? Rock Rilla and Exodus Productions, baby. Do we have your permission to go ahead and rock this out? 100%. Absolutely. Don't touch our shit, people. <laughs> okay? Yeah. 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 Seems like yesterday, heavy on it, but we started with some featherweight. Uh, trying to find light. For heaven's sake, labeled us in minutes. Just trying to find a better way. <laughs> Huh? Seems like yesterday, heavy unit, but we started with some featherweight. Uh, trying to find light for heaven's sake, labeled us a minutes, just trying to find a better way. Uh, took a wrong turn through the devil, lid, untouched, made it home, nigga, not a devil scared. So many demons in the spot, they think the devil here. So many demons in the spot, they think the uh, word of the game. This is family music. Forgive me for them days when I put the family through it. Three ghosts in the back, so the phantom is moving. LV for the blues, and we about to run through them like 